Well, hello there and welcome to this video and uh, yeah, today we have the Vickers Light right here, the new T10 bridge light tank. I played these games earlier, one of them was my, this is actually my first game I played in this tank ever. Um, so yeah, let's check it out and let's see how this tank actually works. Obviously it's a light tank, it's pretty fast, the acceleration as you saw a little bit earlier, it's not that good, but it's still pretty fast for a T10 tank. And, as you can see right there, it has pretty solid turret armor, so you can actually use that um, in some way. However, it's only the mantlet that's really strong. Um, everything around that isn't really that strong. So, yeah. And then, that's an object 268. It's like 300 millimeters base penetration. Can't pen me. The mantlet of this tank is very, very strong. And then the gun of this vehicle is very good. It has 3,200 um, DPM if you fully kit it out. So that is very, very competitive. 245 millimeters of APCR penetration. It's, it's pretty much a standard medium tank gun on a light tank. However, it also has one bonus. That is this one. The HE do, I think, about 110 millimeters penetration. So you can penetrate a lot of backs and sides of tanks um, pretty reliably. So yeah, it is just overall a very, very nice tank. It's a well-rounded tank. Wouldn't say it's overpowered because it's not like crazy zooming around the battlefield killing everyone. You have to know what you're doing to play it. There again, using the ammo correctly in whatever situation you're in. And uh, then you can make this tank a good success. And now this is pretty good team here. Um, we managed to kill five of them while they only kill managed to kill two of us. It's a very rare team to have um, for a patch day, because you all know the sentence, never play on patch day. And that is very, very rarely true. I streamed right before this video. Um, um, and well, the teams were shit as always, but that's just patch day. That's a very nice team right here. Another last enemy, the E100. He's gonna go down, because he's fat, he's big, and I'm slow. Small and fast, I'll take him. And now he's dead. And that's the first game in the Vickers Light that I ever played. So, that's pretty solid, I'd say. I'll take that. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, I played it in raiding just, just to like kind of get a feel for the tank. Um, it's 4,200 damage. It's an ace tanker. Like, I played this about half an hour after the tank actually came out. So, that's nothing really special there. Obviously, top damage. And uh, yeah, so I think if you're... If you want to ace this thing, then go for about 5,000 today, I guess. So now let's look at the second battle, and this is a battle that I actually played during the stream. And this is a little bit longer than the first one. The first one was only like three minutes. Um, so yeah, this one is on Fort Despair this time. So first of all, I'm just trying to do is I'm trying to sit in this bush and spot what are the enemy team doing, what is my team doing, just to, to get a general feel of the entire battle. Um, as you can see already there that uh, the majority of my team is going to um, the uh, like um, fort line, I'd say, like uh, the sea line, supremacy. Um, which is not really good because if you get bunched up in that corner then it's very very hard for you to actually win. Um, so I'll have to try to work around that and have to work from that now. Um, but you also know, we spotted the batch earlier, that they're up on that hill. So I'm trying to take this position here. And also um, use the very good accuracy of this tank. It's a 0 0.31 dispersion, I think, when you fully kit it out. So that, that is very, very good. The gun is amazing for this tank. Typically, light tanks have not really that good guns, but this one is just amazing. And with the Sheridan being nerfed in mobility, this is really the light tank to have in the game at the moment. With the bad chat. Yeah, well, it's the Basha. It's it's a medium tank. Just, it, it's a medium. It's, it's a medium. So yeah, th th this is um, a very good vehicle. But as I said before, it's not overpowered. Because for it to be overpowered, it would have to basically be invincible. Which it isn't. It's a light tank. It's hard to play. Like, the same with the Sheridan. The Sheridan is only good in, in good hands. Same would be with this vehicle. Tanks on generally are only overpowered when they have armor. When a good or a average player can just do whatever they want and not die. 
That's what makes a tank overpowered. And now, the bad shot's trying to run away. That tells me that the object wasn't there, and now we know what the object is. He is AFK. And that's pretty sad for the enemy team. So now I see, I look on the minimap. Where's the enemy team actually? Can they shoot me? Or does my team need my help? And I'm like, it doesn't look like it. It's looking pretty fine. So I have a free uh, shots here onto the object 140. He's AFK. But I don't, don't want to let this guy alive. Um, because if he does wake up in the end game, if my team is low HP, then he could actually make a really big difference there. So we take him out. Um, and now we're going to focus back on the actually alive people and shoot them. So if you're facing an, an AFK guy, if you can take him out uh, without any problems and if your team doesn't need you in that moment, then you should go for it. But obviously if there is like... Um, active people nearby, then you should always focus on them because they can actually shoot you. So now it's a 3v3. Um, pretty big on HP, but he's not anymore because the, he just caught a big one from the 183. So now um, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to see um, what approach can I take to do some damage. I don't want to run into the Act Panzer because he could theoretically kill me with HE. So, yeah, I'm just waiting and watching what the team does. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping here that the, um, the um, Yak Panzer doesn't die because that would be a problem. And to the extent decides to do forward, I shoot him. And now I'll try to go up and take this angle onto the object 268, but then the 268 just goes down. Can't shoot him from here, so I reposition. Obviously, this is a light tank, so you can reposition very, very easily and very, very quickly. Um, but you always have to watch out to not get shot um, by tank destroyers, because they can just pretty much rape you with one shot. And yeah, now it's a 1v1 against the um, Jagdpanzer 100. He doesn't have a lot of HP. I can theoretically take a shot if he shoots AP. So, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to separate myself from the Jagdpanzer 100. That is one thing that you should do like if you're at a medium range um th there's two things you can do you can obviously charge trying to get around them. um but if that's not possible if there's like objects in the way and or if the um deck panzer had a chance to turn while you charge him and that's a bad idea so in that case you just run away and try to take a different approach and now i know that he's shot so now i can charge him because he can't do anything about it and yeah, I can just go around him, and I'll I'll take my time with this shot. I'll enjoy the kill, and now he's dead, and that is a very nice game right there in the Vickers. So yeah, about this tank. If you like light tanks, if you like fast tanks, if you like tanks with a good gun, then go for it. Is it double powered? Not really. Am I an idiot? Yes, I am. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.